Today, I want to get into RM talking about 2024. I want to get into people saying that TXT is Subin exposed RM's enlistment date, and then some alleged private information of RM being posted and trending. So, if you don't please this Dave decide hit it or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling and today's bling book merch, and let's go. We need to get into ARM posting something on Instagram and then people freaking out over this. Armies that watch BTS members post like a hawk and may be surprising to some but not to others. Some armies enjoy watching BTS members' social media page so much that they will literally sit there and refresh the Instagram account until there's a new update. When they finally see that there's a new post, they get excited. This time they saw a photo of RM's legs and on his legs were what appeared to be bandages. This definitely caused a bit of a storm online. Not anything bad, but maybe just a neutral storm. People thought that maybe he was injured or he was showing that he is not okay. Other people were joking to say that RM is posting free feet pics. And that's really funny because if you want foot pics, you have to pay for them. However, going back to the bandages, while I can understand why you think that he is injured or severely hurt, this is simply not what it is. Arm decided to show that he was putting these types of tape on his muscles after working out. So what purpose does it serve? It helps aid muscle movement. So for things like cramps or just your muscles after a workout, these are perfect for that. These help stabilize the muscle movement, help with swelling, just overall a good idea to do after a workout. These are not for injuries, but just something that helps aid a workout. I think this among many other things was likely a reason why Arm decided to ultimately delete the story before the 24 hours were up. I think he was seeing that there were a lot of concern and people asking if he was physically okay. So he just decided that it would be best to just delete it and forget about it. I think he definitely forgets the large population of ARMY and the other population of their fandom are not people who are bodybuilders or avid people who work out a lot. So understand what that perspective is going to look like for them. It's easy to sit there and think this is obviously a workout tape, but most people would definitely not be aware. However, whether people are aware or not, one point that can be made is that working out and using workout stuff is definitely a private matter and maybe should not be shared. Maybe sharing it would cause the tape to sell out. He won't have it to use for his workout anymore. Arm's feet were definitely trending after this and a lot of people were laughing and joking about why he decided to even post his actual feet and I think it's hilarious. So while we would never know why Arm decided to delete this post, we can definitely speculate that would either be because the fandom thinks he's hurt in or in the hospital or we can assume that obviously he is going to delete the photo of it if it turns out that the photo was more so a private body part photo and not a great look for an idol to have a bunch of private quote unquote dirty pics even though feet are definitely not supposed to be private part pics but we definitely live in a world now where this is seen as one and of course who needs foot pics tied to your name when you are about to put out an album arm has been working on something since the release of his first solo album and people have been very excited when he said he was back in the studio, but this was actually extremely controversial. People were wondering if RM was working on an album and the other remaining have yet to go. Is RM going to go after the last remaining member goes or will he go after the military? And this is a concern because does this mean he actually won't go to the military and go after everyone else has basically come back or basically end up coming back after the promised 2025 date. However, there's been some rumors that RM said that he will be releasing his album in 2024. I don't know if this rumor is true. I could not personally find it. However, if he is working on something right now, I don't see why he would not release it and likely release it by early 2024. However, if he does do that, that means he will enlist by mid 2024, then basically come back by 2026 or really late 2025. So technically it could still be 2025, but it's not what armies are hoping for. Arm sort of addressed this album during a recent stream and talked about how he was basically going to start dropping hints about the album and let people know what the album is about by October. He wanted to preface that his album will likely not drop this year, but he will just begin to give details about it. And this is where I say even though he might have said that, it still doesn't mean that it will come out next year because it could still come out after BTS all comes back from the military or come out during their military enlistments. Also understand that some of these things are translated from Korean and these streams and moments are not always able to give the most accurate translation. Although I can definitely appreciate appreciate all the different translation accounts who work overtime for armies. And so when I say it's not accurate, it's not to bash those accounts. 
But to say that culture and many things go into translation and it's a hard job. I think the fandom is definitely very excited to know what RM is going to release next. And just overall what his new sound is going to be. I almost have a theory that the reason RM jumped right into making a new album is because he thinks he can upstage Indigo. And this is not to say Indigo is a bad album. I love it. It's to say maybe he felt like he learned so much from the album making process from Indigo that he wants to jump into a new album and experiment with possibly a different sound or do something a little different. That could either be a new promotion style, a new sound, new different type of artwork, and various other things that we won't really know until he talks about it. I think October is a good time to start releasing in details. We will be getting Jungkook information and promo at that point, and we'll have two things to look forward to all at once. Can armies handle it? Probably not. We'll probably die, but this comes with the job of being an army. Behind the scenes, there is definitely a lot of stuff going on and stuff that RM cannot talk about now, but is likely telling everyone else behind the scenes. One of the biggest things that had been a big topic of conversation was nothing other than his hair. He recently shaved his head and immediately everyone thought this was about the military enlistment. It's not a crazy thought given that all the other BTS members have shaved their head and then gone and enlisted right after. It's no wonder we are almost all conditioned at this point to think that. RM addressed the rumors about his hair and he said that he actually did not shave his head because of the military, but shaved it because the weather got hot and he did it for a more practical reason. RM also recently did a photo shoot with Days Magazine and then he had his shaved hair all colorful. So as he promised, the shaved head was definitely more so for personal reasons and he was able to be artistic with it as well. However, the saga of RM's shaved head doesn't just end there. There is more and more tea that comes out. Subin actually did a live stream and surprisingly actually talked about RM and his experience with RM. If you are not aware, TXT is BTS's successor and they also all interact and see BTS often in the high building, likely through dance practices and just overall. I think BTS members really believe and love TXT. RM ran into Subin and Subin was curious to see what happened with RM's shaved head. This was of course when it was first shaved. Subin said that RM looked very handsome with his shaved hair. Subin asked in a very polite way if there was something that was wrong and by this of of course he meant if RM is going to be enlisting soon. Of course RM replied to say that it was a weather thing. Subin then said that he wanted to take inspiration from RM and actually shaved his head too. And I definitely think no one would fault TXT for taking inspiration in that aspect. Subin also talked about the military to say that he might appear one day with a shaved head. And when asked about the military during the live stream, he said that he, it's still very far away and he doesn't want to think about that right now. People also think that Subin exposed RM enlistment date to say that RM might be enlisting soon, which is why Subin even asked if everything was okay. And it's interesting because people think others that are inside the industry, like Subin or staff, would know when RM is enlisting. However, Subin wouldn't know just like the rest of us. I'm sure the members don't even know when they would enlist until it's told to them. I think they get a few weeks to a few months notice on exactly when they would have to enlist. Sometimes it's much sooner, and I'm sure a lot of the BTS members knew a much sooner but just decide to announce it within the week they enlist so as to not cause mass panic which it does anyway but at least this way there's less time for armies to freak out because imagine freaking out for an entire month with that enlistment date looming over let me know what you think make sure you check out my patreon for more videos link down below thank you so this lovely comment right here love you bye